The game Attack on Titan Last Breath is a game revolving around the popular manga series Attack on Titan. Today, I'll be making a guide on the controls for this game, how to kill a titan, and how to get the badges. Also before we start, make sure to subscribe as it helps the channel a lot, and now let's get into the video. The main controls are straightforward. W to move forward, S to move back, A to move to the left, and D to move to the right. Pressing Q activates the left grapple hook and E fires the right one. Pressing both E and Q at the same time fires both. To aim, move your mouse. Pressing the spacebar while using any of those three commands activates the gas boost. The gas boost increases the speed in which the hook is reeled in, and to release the hook, stop pressing the command buttons, which is E or Q. Swinging to one side requires the use of only one hook. To do this, fire one of the any hooks, and press A or D to swing to the left or right direction. Pressing the spacebar while doing this increases the speed of the player and the reeling speed. Most of the maps in this game have three types of flares, red, yellow, and green. To activate the flare, press H and move your cursor over the flare that you'd like to select. There are shops around the lobby with different purposes. One is to upgrade the ODM gear, one is to buy the new ODM gear, one is to buy horses, one is to transfer funds, and one is to change the costumes. Now, to kill a titan, you need to strike it at the nape, which effectively prevents it from regenerating its body parts. One method of killing titans is to first fire one or two hooks near the nape, then swinging to either side by holding A or D. When the player is aligned with the neck, stop swinging and reel in towards the neck, pressing to strike the neck with the sword. Now, on to the badges. The first badge is rather simple called My Precious. Follow this path to meet Sasha, and just walk near her to obtain the badge. The next one is called Bread Thief. Spawn in the Tross District map, and complete the quest for the most part. Then walk over to the barrels. For the badge, Dead Man, spawn in the Utgard Castle map and swing over to the Collapsed Castle part. Note, it is not recommended to do this at the start as it is best to do later on. To get the badge, Meat Devourer, first, spawn on the map where you have to secure the towns. Then, take the left side and follow this path to the burning house. Now, once you reach the burning house, climb the ledge with the grappling hooks and follow this path. Then, just walk up to the players and you'll receive the badge. And finally, to get the last badge called Pay to Win, you need to buy all the game passes which equals around 3,525 Robux. Anyways, that's it for now. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later.